and we'll, we'll see you know what and how we might frame it um, in such a fashion. And we're going to include your letter in it if you don't mind. Um, Absolutely, that'd be great. And it, it'll go out to some 700 people and of, of, of various uh, efforts uh, across education and, and the city and of course the community most importantly. Um, and, and we'll see what that gins up. Um, and if it gets any response, we'll see if we can't steer it towards the kind of things that we're discussing. And, and, and I put a couple of documents that, that I read more deeply last night um, on the website or on the website, on the mural. And they're highlighted in red. And one of them is about community platforms and city platforms and digital and, and, and all of that. And then the other one is about uh, share, right. and, and, and kids and, and, and the, the right that they have to a city that's not often recognized. So I'm using that as, as a vehicle because I think it's so, so important. I mean, we always talk about kids being the future, and of course that's the point, but they have no voice in their city, and they need a voice in their right. city. This is the future of the city. I mean, this is so simple yep. that you can get lost sometimes in, in its simplicity, but, but really it's, I think it's, it's, it's at the core of, of, of something meaningful taking place in terms of community engagement. So Monica's just, you know, rolling through here some of the things that were in this document, but um, these are these aren't extensive documents. I think one is thirty pages and one is sixteen pages. So Do you want me to show the chart, the graphic? Yeah, if you can show the graphic, that would be great. Is it possible for you to uh, email me those documents? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that that'd be great. We can do that. Um, it, it, this is one of the you know top down, bottom up kinds of kinds of demonstrations within the context of um, the, the one about platform cities. And platform cities are taking a real hit. I mean, they're, they're all around the world, uh, you know, being investigated and probably the most local one is the one in Toronto uh, that took place with Google and all the money in the world and the city of Toronto. And, and because of security, I mean, platform always gets the bad, the bad end of the stick when you start talking about technology and and um, the ability to control people with technology and, 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 and then the use of their data and so forth and so on. So here was Google doing Toronto and Alphabet, all the money in the world doing and making this outrageous case for 12 acres on the city waterfront. And because of security, it died. It represented was so well um, uh, examined and, and, and Google, with all its money, just decided it wasn't worth the price that they were going to be paying. Uh, so they're on the bigger and better things in other places. But but I think that's insightful, and I think that the worm is turned in terms of security. I mean, security can be really a bad thing if it's used badly, but it also can be something very good for a city if it's used correctly. And I think this is an, a, this this particular document is an example of it being used correctly. And because it's inclusive, because our community, um, for want of a model, has come to use their phones in such a dynamic social media, they just need to be connected to things that value their connection. And I think this case, this is a dramatic case, but I think we in the you know top tier of of, of counties in the in the country. Um, we have talent and we have the expertise and, and such and so forth to, to make this happen. And we have a community that could be so well served by that taking place. Yep. So we have to examine it a bit uh, and see if there's anything there that, that makes sense. And, and Bob and, and, and um, Bill and, and, and Maddie and such have such connections and, and deep and depth of, of um, commitment to their, their self-styled executions over the years. But I think that's, that's, that's a place where opportunity can be tapped and, and, and individuals and organizations and such can come together around a commonality of purpose that, 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 that moves the needle. Right, that all makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Well, we're doing it, I mean, if it's not fun for 
going home. That's our yeah, motto. That's <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure you're not doing it for your health. So I, I realize you're doing it because it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> that's about uh, us. <laughs> yeah. So so we 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 think that. Um, now, what does that really look like as a as a practical matter? I mean, when when in terms of actual actionable steps. Well, I, I think I think these documents. I'm gonna look, go back to sharing. A, a really clear understanding. I mean, what we're talking about when you know we all hear these words inclusion, and diversity, and equity, and and yet we have very few examples, as you just indicated. Oh. How does that work? Um, and and it really is about the understanding that's necessary to make these kinds of things real. You know, one can hypothetically say anything as we've witnessed recently. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, you know. Um, but it's another thing to offer something up that is tested and, and is part of an integral fabric in a community that is fed by the very thing that is necessary to have success, and that is by the individuals who make up the community. Right. And that's what I think we have in the making here. Um, and and it, this doesn't have to be, you know, 10,000 people. This can be 100 people. Mm -hmm. This can be 50 people. That's uh, a good point. It, it, it isn't a widely um, proposition, it's a quality proposition. That's a really good point, and, and the, the, which makes it a little more manageable, I think. Um, agreed. And this, what I'm showing here is um, our Opportunity Zones prospectus that we've developed over time um, since we started engaging we'll, with the we'll Phoenix Center those, and, and in 2014. Kind of define, and we'll send you, we'll send you a copy of this as well. Yeah. Right. Right. Share with people who yeah. can I'll give you an example. <laughs> so, so the mayor was at the um, the urban in, in urban no no the uh, municipal Michigan Mi Mi Municipal Mi League Michigan Municipal League on opportunity uh, which zones. has become the vice president so to speak and yeah so, well well met she shows up with three slides and we were there in the room and we were the only ones in the room hell we were one of the few of the handful that even attended the thing I believe it yeah. And that surprised her. And she gave her three slides. The, the, the prospectus that we have is 48 slides. Mm -hmm. Something that Who knows that's got point. some depth to it. And, and by the way, we attracted $40 million 46. worth of offer, 40,600,000 from an Opportunity Zone investor. In, in right. yeah. March of, of 2020. And we sat on that because you, you know, it's one thing to have a plan, and it's another thing to have enough smart people to carry off a plan. Right. Very, very true. So we sat. Can you put me for a minute? Yeah. What? Yes. Yes, Bob. <clears throat> uh, 